Hey, 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 everybody out there. I hope everything's in good standing for y'all. This here is Chopper's old indoor enclosure, in which I did a full and total makeover. All of the lizards that I got, I'm moving one cage over. This now belongs to Shy, my juvenile ornate now monitor. In that last video, we took a 150 gallon tank and did some upgrades. New background to new substrate. But now, that 150 gallon tank belongs to my two juvenile green iguanas, cilantro and cilantro. <laughs> I'll be giving them a new setup with cork bark background. Let's get it. So, this 150 gallon tank is 48 inches long, about 32 inches high. So I'm measuring the inside dimensions, starting with the length from the inside glass wall to inside glass wall. Measuring three times to be certain about my final measurements down to the quarter inch. Precision is everything. I measured 46 and 5 8 inches for the length. Now for the height, I measure from the tank floor to the bottom inside plastic lip of the tank. Three times measurement to be precise. Then pinching off where desired, I measure 29 and a half inches for the height. Now I'm doing something different this time. I'm using this four foot by four foot by one eighth inch hardboard panel for the backboard of the background. I'm using this because it's flat, flexible, sturdy, and the rest on the back of the glass. It's also waterproof without any chemicals, dust, or splinters. Measuring for the height for starters, making sure I'm 29 and a half inches. Measure one time on one side, again in the middle. Again on the opposite end. Now for the length. I'm measuring 46 and 5 8 inches. Making sure I'm precise with the measurements. One time at the top. And again, I'll measure the same at the marked ends for the height. Now I'm taking the meter stick to draw or connect my marks as straight as possible. Of course, this needs to be precise. Next thing, I'm doing the same thing for the side. Preparing to cut this down to size. I'm doubling, tripling, even quadrupling testing my measurements before cutting because there's no fixing after it's cut. Good. Now let's get to the circular saw. Cutting my dimensions with a small imperfection as you can see, but I can live with it. Next to test the fit to confirm fitment, and it looks good. Now these are one foot by one foot cork panels that came in a pack of four. 
that you can get from any hobby store or any home improvement store. This will be the background for the enclosure. I'm using this because it doesn't flake, it's good for any arboreal creature to climb, and it's moisture friendly. I'll be adhering these with 100% clear silicone. Placing each square to line the whole board. Some areas are going to overlap the edge, but that's okay. After a couple of hours of carrying, I just flip the board over and cut off the access with a utility knife. Cutting through the cork board is really easy. Taking these access scraps and just place them at the base and some at the top. This is not for any 3D effect, but more so for reinforced sturdiness. This type of board has bendability to it. So this just helps with sturdiness. Next, I'm taking cork flats, placing them in certain areas on the board and begin filling them and adhering them with black spray expanding foam. I don't want the iguanas to be able to climb behind these, but I want to be very generous with spraying and filling these. As these dry, it expands. On top of these, I'm inserting faux plants to hang and to protrude from the cork flats. Sorry, I thought the camera recorded the full process, but you get the gist. Now to set this into the tank, adding faux suction plants to the side because I do not like to cover the side glass of the tanks. One side, the lizards love to look out the window, and the other side, I like to be able to see through myself. And here we go. As you can see, the finished background with faux plants to give not only the inside cage, but a good living room aesthetic. As you can see, the black spray foam has bled through, but it's something I can live with. But most importantly, the iguanas love it. <laughs> Knowing this is a temporary home for them for approximately six months, this will seem to hold until the next upgrade. Now to add a little sum sum to this setup. This is a smart sprinkler system for reptiles. Look, I promise I'm gonna clean that water once everything is finished. <laughs> Here's an output hose connected to the sprinkler nozzles located on each side of the tank facing down and inward. Screwed into the inside screen at the top. Oh man, that water. There's an output and intake holes. I'm using a gallon of purified water and screwing a hole into the cap to fit the input holes through. Next, position where I want to put the box and sticking it to the side of the glass with double-sided tape for easy access. Quick power test to make sure it works out the plug-in. Next, to run my intake holes down the back into the back cabinet of the stand and out through the front. I'm using purified water because we want to use soft water. Soft water is good for reptile skin, especially for shedding. Try to do away with faucet water because it's considered hot water 
and it, which has fluoride in it, which helps with the enamel on our teeth, and do we really want that for our reptile skin? Eyeball measure to see how much is needed and choose to cut the holes accordingly with the holes cutter that comes with the product. Connect the holes through the cap to the water pump. It fits perfectly. Drop it down into the bottle, seal it up tight, Make sure this sits on something flat and sturdy before closing away. We want the pump to sit at the very bottom of the bottle. Now let's see what we got. Press the button and see how this thing works. Oh yeah. This definitely worked. The hottest spots in the cage is 100 degrees easy. This will help cool with humidity and shedding. Only thing left is for them to get used to it. It's not loud, only a slight buzz before coming on and when active. This dampens the cage perfectly. That's it on this one. Have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Thanks again for watching. Catch y'all on the next one. Y'all take care of each other out there. Peace.